So I just used these pencil crayons here to um, do a little bit on one of the pages in my Create This Book. And because I've, I wanted to use every single pencil crayon um, in order to remember what I had done and didn't, um, the ones I didn't do, I had flipped over so you couldn't see the color name. And that way I knew, okay, that's where I'm at, you know. And after I used the color, I flipped it so that the, or not color name, but the color number and stuff were there. So that is the greens that I've been using and what they look like on the page. And I decided to color this in and fill it in kind of like where the stars are. And I also added my own little things. So on here it says customize the cover. So because I had an orange marker on me, I colored that in with an orange or paint marker and colored the C in because that's where I started. Next it told me add color and or text to the spine and edges of the book, which I had filled out then realized edges of the book. I didn't read the edges of the book part. Um, so I kind of did a half and half and that and then f filled in the uh, R. Maybe I should make the R half and half. Yeah, I'm going to do the R, make the R half and half. Um, then the next one is make the title and copyright page more interesting, which was this page. And and this page. So for that... I decided to make the E, change the E to being a rainbow-esque color. And because the middle of the Create Your Own Book is pink, I just left the pinkish purple there at the end. So I will fig finish that. Then um, I added, then the rest are what I added to it. So add color to opposite side of Tricks page. So that's the purple here. Um, add color to the tips and tricks page and that is the T here because I used a blue and purple color scheme here and then I used the pink one here as well. Um, then I also said add color to the about this page, uh, about this book page and that was green. So that way, and once I finish this, I will add a color star for that. Um, but this is the about this pa book page I'm talking about for greens. Um, then I have the tips and tricks. Then I have this. Yeah, I said add color to opposite side of tricks page. So tricks page opposite side because <laughs> um, I wanted to add my own thing to it but this is where it's at now after using these pencil crayons here and I'm going to use a different set now to finish this off um, I had to put the black over here because the letters are black and I didn't want it to blend in so that's why I put the black piece over here and I'm going to fill it in with my other sets of pencil crayons um, and everything. So I did the little bump, bumpy Zentangle thing for the background. thought that would be a nice one that I hadn't already done. I did the squares here because I hadn't already done that. I done, I wanted to do kind of like this and this, and this ended up turning into a slight bend there, more fan-like, but I left it as is. And this is straight lines down. Then we have the straight lines across here. We have some more Zentangles over here. And I tried to make little donuts. These were supposed to be donuts. I don't know if that came across. but um, And then the front cover here, which is nice and colorful. So there's that. And I noticed that as I was coloring with the pencil crayons, um, the color... Um, was transferring so I ended up getting this little page it's from like a sketch um, me like a sketching book kind of thing from the dollar store and so that it can transfer so when I was doing the blocks here I had already put 
the mm, the clear tape over here the like packing tape so I didn't want to get the texture of the tape lines so that's why I put this here and because this I had not done yet because it's the tape is going to go over to the opposite side um, when I was doing these squares it transferred some of the pigment onto the paper <laughs> so just kind of kind of funny um, it kind of transferred the pigment from the page belief but uh, from this page um, with the pattern of this page onto that page so <laughs> this is kind of funny um, and I also noticed they, it, the same thing happened on the front here um, as I was coloring in because you can see the little um, snake like creature is coming through onto the tape here and everything and so there's some colorful designs which I don't entirely hate you know kind of you know kind of uh, tie-dye adjacent is that the right word um, kind of thing on this cover and it was a complete accident um, but uh, I'm really happy with that it actually turned out really well and so yeah because I didn't want to um, because I wanted to color these pages and then put the tape on so that I didn't have, you know, tape transfer, uh, like the texture of the tape transferring onto the next page as I was trying to color it in. So that, uh, I know it's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully you got what I was saying there. Um, but that's what I ended up doing. And so all I have to do now is finish off this page, then I can get into the real drawing prompts of the book. And everything then do finish the real rule box and then I can get into the actual drawing props and stuff so yeah that's where it's at now just a quick update